Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be diving into the Bitcoin chart here, the current level of resistance and support that I will be trading off of today. And also I want to take a look at Ethereum. Ethereum obviously been moving up over the last few days. I want to go over the resistance that I am watching for right now on the Ethereum chart as well. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I want to keep this focused and professional, what you have come to love at Chart Champions. So let's keep it that way and let's get into the charts that we absolutely love. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is the technical analysis. That is with our daily levels. That is with our Fibonacci skills. So Starting off here, we've got a totally blank chart okay totally everything removed uh i want you to remind yourself um you know hopefully you've been a subscriber longer than a month because you'll have known my exact words in most of these videos are we have three levels three levels that you need to be aware of on the bitcoin chart and what are they ladies and gentlemen they are obviously our daily levels so we have our daily levels which have been very much influential to the market you know each time that we've been testing these obviously we originally had that first test on the 22nd of february obviously we got that 15 percent bounce off of that after that original 15 percent bounce we have maintained this as the middle of our channel and then we've really had our outer boundaries where we have really been ranging we've been going from low to high back down to the lows, back up to the highs. And we all know why we bounced here, don't we? We have our Fibonacci retracement. So if I just delete this, I'll add this one in for you really quickly. Really simply, that was obviously our Fibonacci retracement from the low of the move up to the high. That gives you your Fibonacci retracement. That gives you your CC levels. And we can see this is how we absolutely managed to catch the long there within, well, obviously my long was literally within $20 of the absolute low and that was really simply from the CC Fibonacci level and this is a you know this is a method that we teach obviously my CC level is slightly modified from what lots of people use and that's because I've recognized that when something is overused you kind of begin to break that level and it's not as well respected and this is like an ongoing process that I think good traders should be watching for because I truly believe in technical analysis a few different things if everybody's watching the same thing I really don't think it's going to work out and also being able to adapt to the market what do I mean by adapt to the market I mean for example uh on a fib fib level even, even the one that I'm using here for example I'm always going to be monitoring is this still the best fib retracement to be using or is there a pattern that I am recognizing and thus if I can recognize a pattern and then trade off of a statistical edge of for example we're coming down to a certain fib more so than we're not well I want to adjust my trading I want to adjust my tools so I'm not just going to be stuck complacent uh thinking what's going on here and, and start to blame some external factors because I truly believe every trader including myself has to be responsible for their own trades. So I'm not going to be, for example, stuck in my ways on this FIB level if I can consistently see a pattern occurring and I can have, you know, build up some statistics, build up some, you know, from that statistics, build up what I feel is the most probable trades, build up what's the next best trade from here and then build up, you know, a new strategy per se. I'm going to be adjusting, I'm going to be moving. And obviously this is why I love the CC level. And uh, yeah, we obviously bounced off of that perfectly. So that's enough talking about that CC. Absolutely beautiful though, it always is. Uh, so we'll remove that for now. So that brings us back to, we have correctly, and I want to remind you all that this, this, these three levels were recognized by myself on the 21st of February while we were up at $58,000. So yes, while we were up at $58,000, I was recognizing those three levels in advance down to 48888 And that, that's the power of technical analysis, you know, to recognize those levels. And then what coming on three weeks later, well, you can see for yourself how well they are absolutely respected. We come down absolutely to the dollar low here, come back up to the swing failure pattern almost of the high. We come down to the low. We obviously did spend some initial time below the daily. And this is the thing where you have to be able to accept a loss because you could have shorted the breakdown here. But as soon as you reclaim, as we were saying in the video yesterday, you take a 2% loss, but then you switch that into a 14% win. 
Okay, we then move on, we move on, we move on, and then we all know what happens here. We come down off the daily. You back tested your daily to the absolute dollar. You make your way up to the high of the daily. As you all just saw, we make our way down to the CC re retracement. And then last night brings us up to what's happening right now. We make our way up to the daily again. So that is, first of all, how I wanted to emphasize that these levels, they, they really are <laughs> a little bit of magic. No? They, they really are special. And um, that brings us up to where we are here. What happened last night? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is where I think you want to take some caution when it comes to trading blindly. And what do I mean by trading blindly? I mean, for example, <clears throat> excuse me. I mean, for example, um, just thinking to yourself, right, I'm going to long the breakout here. Like I, I truly believe longing breakouts, shorting breakdowns blindly is a very bad idea. I'm not trying to put anybody else down that does long breakouts. If they, you know, obviously it makes no difference to me what anybody else does at the end of the day. I trade my own plans and my own analysis. But what I'm saying is I kind of think you should take caution because I have built statistics of trading breakouts and I can say that the percentage of wins that you're going to be taking on them are very low. So, you know, do what you want at the end of the day, though. But I know that tra breakout trading is not very good. And we kind of get a breakout here. And what happens? Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me show you exactly what happened. This is our volume chart. It's just crazy what happened at these highs. You see, we're coming up to the highs and over this period up at around, which is literally our daily resistance. You would know if you've watching this video, did you think that we are buying on that daily resistance? I would hope your answer is obviously not, um, because look at this. This is just what we call FOMO, fear of missing out. People talking about the stimulus checks, people talking about X, Y and Z. But th th at the end of the day, you've got to trade the charts and you've got to trade the technicals. This level has been the level that we've had since we since we hit the low down here. OK, we come up into our daily and look at the volume that you get into this. You start to come up on 64 million. And look at this. The, the, the This is new longs opening. So this is new longs opening into resistance. So essentially you are getting at this stage all of the breakout traders heavily longing. Look at this. 64 million followed by 14 million followed by at the absolute high, the absolute high of the move. 33 million new longs, a candle of 114 million, the positive delta of 33 million. I mean, if, if this doesn't like blow your mind thinking, wow, the volume into daily resistance is, is just, you got to think to yourself, is this a good time to buy? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think this is a very bad time to buy. You're buying into a Sunday move. What do I say about the weekend moves? They are not good. They are generally not good things to buy. This is why I like to take the weekend off, to be honest. But you get a move up on the weekend, which is a dangerous buy. What do we say? We look to fade the weekend moves. I don't even think you had to preset any shorts here. You, you didn't have to preset anything. But what you could have done is at the time, and this is obviously happening around 1 a.m., is come over, recognize the amount of longs that are entering, recognize that price is not moving, recognizing that you had the CME futures gap. And let me show you this, ladies and gentlemen. This was what the gap up that we had yesterday. So we had the gap. And what is the pattern on Bitcoin? Well, these gaps like to fill. As you can see here, that was our gap that was formed. What happened? We moved up into our daily resistance. And then what's happened right now? We've come down to really fill this gap. And well, price is now hovering around the top of the gap, isn't it? So really simply, I feel I truly feel I can explain each level of this move because it's it's I don't know, it's, it's not actually that difficult. And I don't want to sound condescending when I say this, but it, it's really not that difficult. Um, we have a gap to hit the top of our daily level, which we've had for literally, literally several weeks. We hit our we hit our daily. We see lots of longs trying to buy the breakout. They can get punished and they, they do get punished. We come down, we fill the gap. That gap is now filled. As you can see, the gap is now filled and we are holding support at the, the, the top of that gap of the CME futures chart. So that's, you know, th those levels are really, really, really well respected. So if we now flip back over to the Bitcoin chart, well, what can we, what can we be aware of here then on, on the local local chart? So, I mean, truly my levels are the same on, on, on Bitcoin. What I will say now is because we have tested this daily for now three times, okay? One, 
two, three. And this is potentially a higher low into this high. So what we do have to remember, uh, or what I would be cautious of, is the more times that we test, if we test this daily level a few more times, it's very likely that we break through. We've tested it three times already, and it's offered a back of the CC. So um, the way that I would be prepared for this is if we come up and we test this daily again, I do feel it's likely that we break through. I'm very sorry. Uh, I do feel it's likely we break through. If I'm totally honest with you, I would be cautious in shorting that daily again. I, I likely wouldn't short it if I'm honest with you again, because I would just feel this is the fourth touch of the level of the CC. We're now on Monday. This is fair game. I'm not going to be as open to fading the moves on a Monday. So yeah, my perspective is if we continue to test this daily again, I feel it is likely that we do break through and we head up to our next levels on the Bitcoin chart. But, you know, until proven otherwise, this is still the daily level to be aware of. It's clearly influential on the Bitcoin market right now. It's been holding us down for over, you know, coming on three weeks. You know, we're seeing levels really, really well respected. So this is your, still your daily resistance around 51,600. Okay. If we break through that, which I do feel is likely if we test it again, to be totally honest with you, then naturally, yeah, maybe you do have a good breakout trade on the fourth attempt of it. <laughs> Let's be fair. But at the end of the day, you break through your daily level, you look for your next level of resistance. You, what you're not going to be doing is, if you break through this daily, looking towards uh, half a million Bitcoin. You know, you, you're going to, instead of thinking of all these sort of moon boy things, instead of these ridiculous predictions, you're just going to literally trade your charts level to level so you break one resistance look towards your next level you break one support look towards your next level this is how i trade and well i'm trading uh profitably so that's how i would approach the trades okay obviously on your local in your more more local term time frame support if we add in back in the middle of our range which is coming in at around $48,000 okay obviously you, ha you have a bit of support currently coming in at around uh 49,000 Okay, which is around your local CC to 48,700. So you can expect support to be offered around there. I would, I would totally, I would imagine. Uh, obviously, currently we are seeing the volume tapering off. So the, the volume is really tapering off. Um, yeah, lots of positions closing around here. I don't know. Th this is not really that interesting. I feel you've come down, you've closed your CME gap, and now you're going to either wait for the break back above the equilibrium or you're going to have to see that gap support lost so um that's the way that i would approach this are, are we going to reclaim the equilibrium or are we actually going to come down through the gap again this is the cme futures gap um of course if you want the real date like live data for the cme you do have to pay for it this isn't free but um, it's worth the cost, I would say. Uh, obviously, if you look at the ES as well, what was another confluence that you had off of the daily resistance up here? Or the, the ES, so the stock market futures, uh, S&P 500 futures were also selling off. So, you know, they had a gap up and they started to sell off really, really, really quickly coming into midnight. They were already selling off. So that gave you a little bit of confluence of why you could expect this sell off to occur on Bitcoin. Um, I do want to emphasize, though, Again, if we keep on testing this daily, I am expecting it to break upwards. So just remember that it's not going to hold forever, especially when we keep on testing it and we hold the CC, then it's it's likely that we break through that level. Okay, But ultimately, at the end of the day, I think that we can approach this in a very nice perspective of, OK, we have daily resistance until proven. Otherwise, this daily resistance is resistance. It's resistance until it's broken and we are essentially going to trade the range until it's broken. I would be cautious shorting the daily one more time because I do feel it's going to, I would say, I think it's likely broken the next time. But uh, at the end of the day, trade the range until it's broken. I've given you that key level, still still key level for me. And, um, you know, support, I would say, intraday around $48,000. Okay, I want to move over to uh, Ethereum really quickly and <laughs> just show you once again the power of these dailies and these CCs. Ladies and gentlemen, this is absolutely nothing new. Um, if we take our Fibonacci once again from the low of the Ethereum moves, okay, so from the low down here up to the high, OK, you can see what happened. Ethereum come up into resistance. It lost the monthly back test, lost the daily with a back test, come down to our CC. Doesn't this remind you of Bitcoin? <laughs> you know, it's literally the same sort of charts here. So when we look at this on Bitcoin, what did we do? We came down into that CC retracement. Daily resistance, back test, come into the CC. Ethereum, we look at the exact same thing. 
we Ethereum just on a higher term time frame. Okay, lost each of your levels, lost your weekly, lost your monthly, lost your daily. Where do you come to? You come down into your big CC Fibonacci level. So this is your big CC Fibonacci support. You never actually lost the, so the CC support. And what do we do? We make our way up. We make our way up. And look at this. The daily level respected to the absolute sat here on Ethereum. Tested rejection. Tested again and another pullback again. If we keep on testing this, well, this is likely going to form. I can already see this starting to form a potential ascending triangle where this could form into something like this, where we get another test and then you get your break of the triangle, which is obviously an acceptable trade. So you've obviously got a bit of an ascending triangle. Potentially, I can just recognize these patterns before they form. I would say you're forming an ascending triangle on Ethereum. And then you can obviously view this as a neutral pattern if you break to the upside. Or if you break to the downside, you can, obviously if you break to the downside, you're going to test the up of the CC again, which is around uh, 0.315. And if you break up, you're going to be looking back up towards uh, 0.036. Um, so that's Ethereum. And just, I wanted to just really quickly do this just to show you the power of the CC and the daily. I mean, if you if you couldn't have get, got that by now on, on what's happening on, a, on Bitcoin. Um, but there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I've tried to keep this one fairly... Um, fairly simple i didn't want to go into any really complex topics go into i just wanted to keep it as simple as possible while showing you the technical analysis that we're doing is i want to say the best in the business right now the levels that we've been giving you for weeks in advance are absolutely still respected anybody that really doubts that the technical analysis that we're doing well you can just kind of show them these videos show them what we're looking at and the respect that these levels are having time and time and time and time again um i will end with a few different things I want to end with here. So I want to end with, first of all, um, I've done a new Champions live stream last night. So if you're interested in my next trading plan on Bitcoin, which does include these long and short position setups, um, then that is what I went over in last night's Champions live stream. They are not activated yet. So if you're interested in that, that's over on the website. And the other thing that I want to bring your attention to is obviously we are an educational group. So if you really want to learn how we're trading, how I'm trading, looking at these volume charts, looking at these daily levels, looking at our Fibonacci levels, we have the whole course over on the website. I like to say everything on the website, very professional, very, you know, focused learning that I think you absolutely will love it. So this is what we have on the website. These modules have been updated. Uh, you know, we've got a... Yeah, I'm, re I'm really happy with, with how they've progressed. So this is the new updated modules on the website. Obviously, the other thing I want to bring your attention to is the deals now that we have on the website. So if you're interested in joining a new exchange, for example, we got a few of the top um, cryptocurrency exchanges. We obviously have a stock trading, stock trading thing. And if you need a VPN connection now, for whatever reason that might be, we also now have a VPN uh, affiliate link. So... Uh, if you're interested in any of those deals, that's across now on the website for everybody. Um, so I'm fairly happy with this. Um, very, very, very happy with how Bitcoin's going. Uh, quick summary, I suppose, before I wrap this up for Bitcoin. Uh, we are now back at the gap support. So once again, you can see here really clearly we come down to the gap. And you can see this down on the lower term time frames, how absolutely magical it really is. You fill the gap and it's basically you filling the gap to the dollar. And this is where you're starting to bounce and get your support. CME gap, once again, influential. Um, and then also your bigger levels here. You both don't, 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 don't look to buy into resistance, I suppose, like the hundreds of millions that you were getting up at the highs. Take it slow. Look to buy retracements. What do you do? Come up to the high. Anyway, I'm not going to I'm not going to be beat on about that any longer. I've given you the key levels. I've given you my perspective of if we test that daily again, I think it breaks to the upside. But until proof and otherwise, trade the range until it breaks. Uh, if you want more information from myself or my team, obviously, we have a dedicated team over at Chart Champions that are here to assist you and help you in your trading. And uh, well done to the people that take profits at the highs. Take those shorts uh, again. If I was short from up here, I would take profits because we are literally just closing the CME gap. So again, we don't hold on to shorts forever. Um, you know, if you're short here, I would say you take profit at least one because we have filled the CME gap. That's it. I'm wrapping it up. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Hope you have a brilliant day ahead, brilliant week ahead, and are looking forward to trading these charts. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you ever so much. And um, I just hope you have a really good day and you enjoy your trading. That's everything from me. Thank you ever so much once again. <laughs> and goodbye, everybody. Cheers.